Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi and in today's windy but also extremely beautiful Saturday our task is very simple and it is to find the best food spot in Camden Town Oof, but you guys it is so windy in here let's go inside let's get dressed and off we go Actually already packed you guys something which most probably you don't know about me is that I work here in Camden I work for Dr. Martens and I guess you would expect that I know the places all around the office but the truth is I really don't because with this hybrid working I spend most of the time at home and even the days when I go to the office I don't really eat at the market because I'm a little bit boring and I bring my lunch from home I bring some fries with veggies and I just look at the people at the market and I say oh my god they're so lucky so today we'll be part of the cool lucky group and the first place where we are going it's called What the Pizza very catchy name right? And the cool thing about this restaurant is that it's 100% vegan and before even going to Camden I read so many great reviews about this place so I was 100% sure that I want to go in there and that's why I actually pre-ordered all these things that you will see on Deliveroo. My first impressions of this vegan dinner kebab is that it was very heavy, it was like half a kilo. And inside you can find soy pieces, mixed salad, hummus, tzatziki and usually jalapeno peppers but I actually removed them because I'm not really a big fan of spicy food. And the vegan baklava was meh, nothing special. Quick review from us. I liked it. Uh... Not the value for not in terms of value for money, but overall it was tasty. Really tasted like meat, and I really like the fact that the dinner itself it was very heavy, so it was quite filled up with stuff. Yes, it could have been a little bit tastier, and the price could have been lower, but I still really enjoyed it. The only disadvantage is that it's actually a bit far from the market, so now we walk like around five minutes to actually get to the cool part because as you can see like not this is not, not not really the Camden that you know what are you oh there is oh my god there is a camera And guys, you know how I told you that I actually work in Camden Town? Do you want me to show you where is my office? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, Ben is dying to see it. Where are you? And it is the one over there. Do you see the glass building over yes. there? It is exactly over there on the top floor. It is so cool. And the next highly recommended place that we had to try out is called Magic Falafel. And surprise, surprise, we got falafels from there. Where is our Magic Falafel? This looks nice. They look really good. In Pimlico, the price for a falafel is like 50p, but I can see here that they added some like a nice saucy sauce, which is a plus. Go ahead, try it. It's really fresh, crunchy on the outside, but actually inside it is very juicy and I feel like there are some herbs to which I'm not really used to. And the tahini itself is also great. Look at that, it's piping hot. I mean a little bit too hot, let's be honest. Mm. That's a lot of tahini. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I mean, I assume you know the sauce is cold, you know, the waffle is hot, so now it should be all right. And one of the places which everyone recommended for meat, it is this Argentinian place called Asador. And since I don't eat meat, Ben will be trying it out. Oh, you got your steak! Wow! Let's go! Looks really tasty. What happened with let's look for a nice place to sit? Uh, no Grab way. It. So usually it's 7.50 with like uh, potato shagets or salad, but I only wanted the steak, you know? So it's only 6.50. Really? It's really tasty and juicy, you know? There's a little bit of seasoning, you know? Wow. Mm. Really good. Quick rating out of 10. A billion. I mean, I don't actually eat meat, so for me this is like, eh. it, it, it just smells a little bit funny, but I read a lot of good reviews and that's why I decided to take Ben in here and as you can see, <laughs> He's totally enjoying it. I mean, very Italian. See, there's also a salad. I mean, that's not a salad. It's you know, one of your five a day. That's so not one of your five a day. Oh, well. Oh, wow. finally. We got into one of these bubbles after waiting for 20 minutes. Bubbles. I mean, I mean, it's like half a bubble. It glues. Half an igloo. Yeah, inflation. Before it was a whole one, now it's half. Yeah. These steak peeps, so tasty. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm also quite happy with my falafels. I don't get like this excitement that Ben does, but hey, let's not offend the falafel. They're very good. By the way, guys, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you have Sucks plenty... You. Enemy spotted. No, you have plenty of options in here. I, I don't want this to end. I think it's time uh -huh. for you so to say... Every single video which I watched about Camden Town, it recommended this sweet store Hans and Gretel. So I had to go in there, guys, to give you my honest opinion about it. This place is so pretty, but it but not as pretty as the steak. But it literally screams rip off to me. So yeah, no, just no. just run away it's very fast. Can you guess what is the reason for having this beautiful statue of the tiny Amy Winehouse in here? Because uh, like she, she passed away or like she, she was a fan of like Camden Town or something? Well, kind of. She actually used to live in here and was also coming to the pubs themselves quite often. Uh, but you know, they say she's tiny, but... Someone else is tiny, huh? Are you as a good singer as her, Amore? Why yeah, is she I behind did. you? That looks really weird. <laughs> there she is. Uh, <laughs> And my office is right over there. And working in here, it's pretty much like working in the middle of Temptation Island because there is so much tempting food all around. And every time I have my lunch made from home, which let me tell you, it's not really tempting. A little tip from a local, well, not so much. But anyways, if you want to run away from all the bus from the market, the best place for you to come is here, close to the Regent's Canal. Well, we have to say hi to the people on the boat. Hello! Wow, savages. Okay, we're ready. Peace. Wow. Ow. Hi, you dropped mm. it. Very good, very buttery. And you can really feel the caramel. How is it? How is it? Maybe because I'm full, but I mean, it still tastes really good. It's a bit burnt. It's no, sweet. that's the marshmallow. Ah, it's not sweet. But I don't get this double standards. He said he doesn't like it, but keeps Ooh, eating no. it. Like, look at that. <laughs> For someone that didn't like it, you ate quite a lot. Wow. And this is the burnt part. 
I totally forgot to comment on the price. Oh, how much was it? This was four seventy-five. Ooh, Ooh. you can you almost could get a steak for that amount of money. <laughs> so Ben is comparing everything to a steak. steak but I have to say it's like way more expensive than other ice creams. If you go to a Murino or to Venki ice cream, you can get actually twice as much. And I wouldn't say that this one is twice as good. So to answer your question, is this the best street food in London? Well, I would have to give this price to Chinatown, but there is some serious great food here in Camden as well. And the best one must be the steak, which Ben tried. And for the veggie option, actually, I think it's Porrezza pizza, which I had in the previous video. I will have both of these linked in the description down below, so you can check them out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all. Bye.